Hey guys, PK Zoro here, also known as the Predaking Zoro. And I'm sitting here looking at a challenge I finally completed on my own. Not, well, it is called Triggering the Clown Apocalypse early three times. Would you have to get it before the five minute mark? Truth be told, it is not easy. You want you want one certain condition met on that. You want somebody fast. <clears throat> you know, yes, yeah, stamina is not the best, but you want to be at least level 50 because you want the brawler class. Because if you notice the other clowns, their movement speed is nothing compared to his. Even down to the ranger. It's like, he's got decent. So does the trapper. But the brawler just has the best movement uh, speed out of all of them. So this is going to be a no... Killing humans... Clownpocalypse run. Yes, I know I need to work on survivors, but... I don't have time. I'm going to go into the amusement park. And there's a reason. Oh, and, uh, just so I don't forget, uh, hit the subscribe button if you're new and smash that like, guys. If you think I deserve it, because this took a while to get. But what you want to do, you want to find cotton cocoons. Cotton candy cocoons. You do not want to play around. Look for the gens. Okay. Not the best spawns. Not the worst. In fact, I had, I had worse spawns than this earlier. What you want to do, you want to start just cocooning gens immediately. <clears throat> always keep your eyes peeled for cocoons. Always. And you want to just keep running. Constant until you run out of stamina. Reason? Carrying a cocoon? You automatically start regaining stamina automatic. No matter what. <clears throat> we'll just chuck this over here. So I check behind here because sometimes there's one that spawns right there. There we go, baby. Yeah. Oh, baby. Here we go. But wherever you got more than one cocoon, you want to just toss. Don't run with them. You know, just chuck them. When you get them over to it, hook. Oh, and guys, did I neglect to mention this is a no jump challenge? And sorry if my TV's a little loud. I have to keep it loud because if I don't, I can't hear anything. And there's a reason I just don't want to tell, okay? As you guys noticed, I'm always chucking cocoons on here, not really carrying them a whole lot, lot, because that's the way you gotta do it. You gotta chuck them. You want that extra time. <clears throat> and if this recording gets ruined because of a loud mouth, I guarantee you I'm gonna be furious because I worked tirelessly on perfecting this so much that I've got it down almost to a T perfect but you don't worry about any of the people on here whatsoever so as far as people goes you don't have to let them bother you just go on about your business there. Oh, got 
stuck. Screw you, bench. I get stuck on that bench all the damn time. But as you guys noticed, I prefer to grab two cocoons over just one. I'm gonna have to finish up this one. And I think there should be one in, over in the bumper cars. Yep. Normally they're... Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh-oh, like he said. <sighs> but yeah, you just want to chuckle a lot of times, because... <clears throat> that way you get your speed up, and you can speed across the map. Now don't chuck them too far, because then you'll screw up and miss. Been, me and Per did this challenge uh, a while back and <clears throat> ever since I was wondering can you actually do this challenge by yourself you know I was cut I was always questioning you know and then I tested it tested it tested it and finally I got it to 530 Look at this. We want to go see if we can find another cocoon also. That way we just for forge in it. And not have to worry so much. I know a lot of the cocoons will spawn right here. Yep, there it is. Yuppers. Oh baby. Like I said, you wanna care you wanna carry the cocoon a little bit because one, it will regain stamina. Two you wanna be able to run. Yeah, I know it sounds counterintuitive to just do what I'm doing, but it helps a lot. I mean look at this shit. Not even down to the five minute mark and we're already we're already up by three uh three gens. Yeah. Running on to the next one. Next gen should be over this way. And yeah, it's right here. Up near the arcade. Which there's a lot of cocoon spots also up in here. One being back there. Normally there's one that spawns here, so. Now there is one cocoon you always want to keep a watch for, and I'll show that real quick. It spawns indoors, which is always in here. Didn't spawn there this time, that's fine, that's fine. Let's just go. Oh yeah, there's one that spawns here in the woods, so we gotta get that one now. If not, we are screwed. There we go. Oh baby. Oh baby, baby. Cause we gotta get it going. The clown apocalypse is a coming. I mean, 
slug of shit. Not even at 5.30 yet, guys, and we're already killing time. I found doing a lot of the challenges against uh, bots, you actually get them done really quick. And there we go. So, play around. I'm just going right around this pizza box. Hey, talk about fast food. inevitable. Then that person saying it has brain cells. And yes, I know I'm at a high, high level. Mm, look at that XP. Good XP farming way too. Which I need to make a video on that shit. Just XP, showing you guys how to XP farm. But yeah, pretty much you'll end up getting this. <coughs> Try to triggered the clown, clown apocalypse early three times. You do it before the five minute mark hits, you got it done. Now stuff like uh, help others hook up to 25 cocoons, I'd advise you to go in to, like public matches or go in with a friend and just chuck cocoons at them. You know, and then you'll get that one real easy. Uh, me and Per did that one together. Uh, that one was another easy one. But look at this shit. I bought, I've only got one challenge from this one to do, which is kill ten res humans. Which I have to have a person come in as a human and then I gotta go around and kill everybody, except for that one person and then let them res and then kill them all again. So yeah, and then after I get that one done, I'll be able to start up Elite Clown. So yeah, but I hope you guys enjoyed the video, you know, and oh, before I forget, <laughs> on the Brawler class, this is all I'm running. I ain't running anything special or anything like that, see? Because really, you can run anything with the brawler and it works, you know. But I've got him the way I want him to look and everything. But anyways, as I was saying, uh, I will see you on the next video or stream, whatever it may be. I know this was kind of a shorter video, but reason why I like I said I've been working on this shit for weeks now I mean by my level you could tell I put the hours into it you know but <clears throat> for the build for that you do want the brawler like I said you want hit the little guy you want shorty as he's called because like I said he has the fastest movement speed he can move across the maps quicker than any other clowns. You don't want him in it. And pretty much all it is, is a no. 
human attack run. You do not attack humans at all. Now, if they start attacking you, yeah, beat the crap out of them. But always keep moving. Don't stop because of them. Because they will screw you over in the end if you ain't careful. That's why I pretty much stayed away from them. I was watching where the lackeys were attacking and everything, and... Yeah. But anyways, I'll see you guys on the next video, or stream, whatever it may be. And... Remember to hit the thumbs up, guys. Even Shorty's telling you to look at that shit. He likes it. he likes it when people hit that thumbs up. And to all the haters, he tells them to quieten up. They don't know what they're talking about. Why? They stinky. <laughs> Later, guys.